Hello, my name is Josh with Legacy Tooling. We'll be doing a series of videos on how to create stainless steel leather stamps from readily available equipment from your hardware store, starting with a stainless steel bolt. So let's begin. All right, uh, what we're gonna need first and foremost is our five inch stainless steel bolt. This one's a quarter inch uh, by five inches, of course. Uh, then we're gonna need a mask because we're grinding steel and you don't wanna inhale that. You also need some goggles, you need a scratch all, some layout fluid, or a sharpie instead, that'll work just as well, piece of paper to lay out your uh, design on, a pair of scissors to cut it out, and of course a pencil to draw it. Also, the next set of equipment that you're going to need, uh, in keeping with very cheap and very simple and readily available, is this one inch uh, grinder. You can get this from... Uh, any hardware store. Uh, this is what we're going to use to grind out our basic shape. Next, when we polish it off, we're going to use, we're going to go from 120 grit to 220 grit to 400 grit to 600 grit. Then we're just going to polish it off with this crocus paper. The final tool we're going to need is a hacksaw, and that's just to cut the threads off of your uh, final tool. First thing you're going to want to do is take your bolt and then you're going to want to grind it flat uh, so you have a flat spot to make your design on. Next we're going to put out some layout fluid. Uh, for this we can just use a cheap sharpie. Uh, this is a lot cheaper than other layout fluids and it works just as well. So we're just going to color the top of our bolt. Good stuff. Now we're going to take our bolt we're going to put it upside down on a piece of paper and we're just going to trace around the outside of it. This gives us the dimensions to make our design with. And there you go. Now we're going to draw our design on here and we're going to be doing a pair foot today. So just draw an approximation of a pair foot that you want within there. Next we're just going to cut this design out and lay it out on top of our bowl. Now that we've cut out our layout, we're going to put it on top of the tool and we're going to put our tool in the vise and then we're just going to use the scratch all and we're just going to carve the design out. Doesn't need to be perfect. We're going to fix it out on fix it up on the grinder. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to grind off all the material down to our marked lines every so often. We're going to bring it over and dip it into this glass of water to cool it off. Uh, it's going to get pretty hot. So let's put on our safety glasses and our masks and let's uh, begin grinding it down. As you can see, it doesn't take too long to get that ground down to right about where you want it. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to 
round over the top so you're going to have that nice uh, pear foot shape for bruising your leather. Now, as you can see, we have the line straight around here, around these edges, and there's that little dome across the top. And we're going to leave a little extra on there, and we're going to go over to the hand sanding, and that's where we're going to complete our Paris foot. So now you can see, I cleaned it up a little bit more to make sure that it was even all the way around. Uh, and look more like a Paris foot. Uh, and now we're going to go over and do hand sanding to finish it off. We're going to go from the 120 grit to the 600 grit, and then that should be it. We got our rough Paris foot, and what we're going to do is we're going to proceed through the different uh, grades of sandpaper to get that smooth mirror polished finish on here. Our first one that we're going to use is our 120 grit, and Let's begin. After each one of these grits, I will pause and we'll zoom in and we'll show you what it looks like after each one. So. It's very important you go in the same direction because you don't want cross sanding marks on the head of your tool. This is what it looks like after you get done with the 120 grit. Now we're going to move on to the 400. Okay, now we've stepped up, uh, I believe I said the 400, but we actually are going to step up to the 220 grit sandpaper. Once again, we're going to go same direction. We can turn it over and we're going to smooth it out a little bit more. Alright, this is after the 220 sanding. You can see it's starting to get a little bit better here. Now we're going to move up to 400.
All right. This is after our 400. We're going to move up to our last uh, grit, and that will be 600. You can go further if you want, but I think it gives a pretty good polish after 600. Now, that was just 600, got completed. You can see that it's got a pretty good uh, satin finish on it. We're gonna go to our last one, which is the crocus paper, and that should put the uh, final shine on this. This is essentially just a heavy cloth, uh, is all it is. So that's all you're really gonna be rubbing it on, and it's gonna put a good shine on there. You're gonna be quite happy with it. Now there's the finish. You see how shiny that is. And we're just going to finish this off by cutting this end off here. And I'll show you how to do that with just a hacksaw. Alright, for our last little piece, uh, keeping with how to do this with hand tools and pretty dirt cheap, I'm just going to put this uh, tool and a vise. This is a soft jaw vise. So won't damage the knurling that I have on there. I'm just going to take my hacksaw, put it on the last set of threads here. And as you see, it doesn't take a whole lot to cut that off. Now we're going to take this last part over to the grinder, and we're going to grind off this nice and smooth, and you'll have completed your first pear's foot. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're just going to take this rough edge, and we're going to grind it flat. go it's been ground flat you've just completed your first leather working tool our next one will be the beveler